Hello boys and girls and welcome to another sketchy tutorial because someone on Instagram asked me how to create this model and today here we are in Fusion 360 we'll try to recreate it. So let's go to the front plane and make a sketch. Choose this, this little box. For the main body we need the arc, three point arc. Select this one, select this, and make something look like this. After that, add some lines to close our profile. Great, and let's make this top and bottom lines equal. Hmm. Equal. Okay. Now we can add some dimensions to this. This at 30 works great for me. And this 70, mm, I guess it's okay too. And let's add some radius for our arc. It can be something like 40 or 35 maybe. No, 45. Yeah, 45 looks great for me and let's add the bottom part of our body it will be kind of two blobs body let's select the side top and arc and for the mirror line let's add the bottom line here okay now we need to make this line not normal but construction and finish the sketch maybe let's Change the radius for 40. So the body will look more chubby. And let's revolve this profile around the, this axis. Okay. Let's quick change the color of our body because the gray looks awful for me. Okay, great. Now let's go to the side plane. In my case, it's the right plane, and making another sketch. For this sketch, we need only the lines, and we need to create some sort of triangle like this. What we try to achieve here is to make this line and this line to look more vertical. The more vertical it will be, the more easy it will be for our printer to print it. I think you should get the point. Let's delete this constraint. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can move points. So I think I will go somewhere here and this somewhere. Here it should be at least 45 degree here. And this one I need to put the, uh, closer to the bottom. Okay, great. And let's try to make a cut. So select our profile for the separation, switch it to cut, and it should be symmetric. Uh, whole length, whole. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now uh, I think this is a little bit too wide for our face, so let's try to change the sketch. And we need to move this point here, somewhere here. So, I think, yeah, we can work with it. Let's make a nose, select this surface and create a sketch on it. For the separation, let's choose the ellipse here, here, and something like here. Okay, make a line from here to here. Great, and let's choose a revolve operation. And for the axis, will be the line we created before. Okay, uh, don't forget to switch the operation type to the join. Great, this will be our node here. Let's add a mouse on the same plane. I think for this operation we can use the torus command 
and select the plane and make uh, mm, 20 so how can we change the center point looks like we can so let's recreate it torus this plane and here will be our maps for 20 and the diameter will be 6.9 and again don't forget to switch your operation type to the new body in a second i explain you why we're using new body let's go to the right plane and right now for the printer it will be really hard to print this area here because the angles are too extreme for the raise mode so we need to move our body uh, like for one millimeter so it, it will be more pleasant here and press an OK. So I think on this stage we can also combine these two body together. This and this. OK. Mm, should we add the eyes? I don't think so. It looks kind of interesting without them. Uh, maybe we need to add some. Oh, we can add some airs for this character. So let me think a little bit. Okay, let's go with the torus again and select the right plane. And let's guess where we can place this. Okay, looks like 30, 60 will be okay. And for the torus diameter, we can go with this. Yes or no? Maybe we can put 40. Oh, sorry for that. Let's recreate it. I don't understand why I can't select the right places for the hairs. So I'll go to Torus, this plane, something like this. Okay. Let's select 20. And for this, oh no, 50. And for this, will be 45. Uh, is it okay? For the hair, I think so. Yeah, it's kind of cute hair. So let's join this. Okay, now we need to repeat it and make more than one. For this, we'll we'll use the pattern with circular pattern. Uh, select the features here, object, and for the axis, select the y axis. Let's go to the top plane to be sure that we have an equal size for this hair. So, okay, we need to reduce number of the hairs. Oh, it start to look complicated. But we don't need for sure this one, this one, this one, and this, this one. Yeah, five hairs minus. Sheesh, what is happening? Let's, let's add a circular pattern. We don't need to objects we need only use our one object here yeah features features okay yeah that will be our hairs here so i think we can increase the hair diameter so let's quickly fix it in the edit feature here 17 so i want them to kind of merge between each others okay looks great all we have to do is to cut hairs here make them make a hair cut haha <laughs> create a sketch make a circle create a big circle finish the sketch uh, use the extrude command with cut operation one side select the profile will be this and this and move it up like this okay uh, looks superb what else can we do let's add some some fillets everywhere that we can here and here maybe 2.5 okay 
also let's fill it let I think we can add the same fillet in the same command add it a feature or just make a plus select this select this s2 does it work it oh yeah and let's make an here for two or maybe for four oh page looks fantastic oh let's add another fillet on the middle of our body mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. let's make an a cancel edit feature so as it said before this will be a kind of sketchy tutorial but you can see the whole process our workflow for this type of modeling let's make it 10 yeah 10 looks okay so on this um, stage i would like to save this guy let's call him a um, boo boy yeah. save him and also let's save export him in stl format boo boy export okay here i have the previous versions of the previous boo boy so let's wait a little bit okay the export are finished let's open up a cura this was the old boo boy let's add the new one boo boy here let's go to the prepare tab and we need to rotate him a little bit let's slice him and be sure that all the stuff looks good and complete and without any ears and there is no ears which is superb now we can add the cuts for him so let's go back to the our fusion 360 what we need to do now we need to move we need to uh, make a copy of our body bodies yes create a copy okay after that we need to scale this second body a little bit let's choose the scale command uh, we need to select this body non-uniform scaling so the y-axis will be the same but the x and z scale will be 0.98 yeah Yes, and the scaling point. I think we shouldn't choose this. Let's see. Let's mm, change our visual style to shaded with hided edges. Go to the top plane and no, 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 no. As you can see here, we don't choose a point from scale up from and it's scaled non equal compared to the previous model. Let's quickly try to fix it. Point and I think we can choose the origin point right here and press an OK. No, we still have a problem. Maybe we move the, this stuff wrong. Select the point. This one. Yeah, now it's work perfect. This Fusion 360 sometimes made me mad. But it's okay for now. Switch back to the shaded view. Let's hide our body that we scale it. It all is the bottom one. And for this body, we need to uh, firstly as a sketch here we will need the sketch later like this in this sketch 
Okay, now go to the top part, add another sketch. Create a line uh, from here to here. Finish sketch. Make a cut with extrude command. Cut and extrude two sides. Profile, select the line. Symmetric. Distance will be 0.8. No, let's. Here is the 0.8, and for here we need to go all the way up through our model. Yeah. Actually, we can go with one side and switch the side like this. So, important step be sure that here is only body number two in objects to cut. Press an OK. Let's save this file before the next operation. This will be power and time consuming. Go to the pattern, circular pattern, select object, select the axis. I think we can go with some like 140. So let's try to use some compute option like. Optimize it and let's try to make a cut. Be ready to crash during this operation because it's happened a lot. Okay, now we can show our main body or scaled body. And we need to add the pad on the bottom to Make the first layer more printable. Extrude this one, wrong direction, and taper angle 45. And distance minus 10. Uh, again. Let's don't forget to switch it to join. Okay. So as we join this comment last, we don't need to merge or combine all the bodies together. But if you have more than one body here, just use the combine features. Okay, let's inspect quickly. What can we inspect here? Uh, let me see. Section analysis. Uh, wrong face. Okay. All the way down. Looks great. So let's control save it again. And let's export this model to Ball one and see how it's turned out in our QR profile. Okay, open up our QR. I'm not sure why, but this model is not updated when we saved it with the same exact name. So let's move it manually rotate it and slice it kind of funny guy we have here print show us three hours 49 minutes and yeah we have some issues so the problem here is that we have too many cuts so we need to reduce it 
it's a really quick easy fix just go to the previous variation edit circular pattern and change it something to 100 and you always should check it in cura with number of these cuts to find a perfect spot and oh, we already have another issues here so i don't know what's happening let's figure it out go to the edit circular pattern uh, 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 what is happening? Why it won't create it? So, Fusion 360 is a really strange software for me. I highly recommend you to switch to SolidWorks because in SolidWorks we don't have any problems like this. So, let's export it again. Boo Boy number one. Should we replace it? Yes, of course. And is it updated or no? Oh, here it is. Also, I don't know why exactly, but Fusion 360 export time is way longer than SOLIDWORKS one and you can directly change it uh, change the number of polygons for your model uh, in the export tab it's also annoying and now he asks us about replace let's say yes and slice it again 5 minutes Lower, so yeah, there was a quick fix, haha, <laughs> and we are lucky for this. So, yeah, now we have this uh, little body here. I wish you like this tutorial, even it was kind of annoying and sketchy and uh, non produced with some plans. Anyways, if you would like to, if you would like to have another tutorial about some other models, feel free to ask me via my Instagram. Or if you would like to have another tutorial about rendering and animation kind of stuff, uh, ask me again on Instagram, and we will try to figure some stuff out. And for now, that's it. I think. Yeah, bye, see you later.